What up, my tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. Got some more of this Kaladesh Remastered. I um a little bit sleep deprived right now. I just ended my stream and we had a pretty rough day. It uh we went like 431303. So Five and nine on the day. Hopefully this video here can help improve things. Uh, what do we got? We opened a Heroic Intervention as our rare. Not one that you're going to take early. Best cards in this pack are like the Sweatwork Brawler. Fantastic for the artifact aggro uh, deck. Air of Innovation. Really, really cool synergy card. Uh, especially if you can get things like Whirler Virtuoso. I guess Gear Seeker Serpent is... Excuse me, fine. i got hiccups now. Uh, I'm going to go for the era and see if we can have a little fun. Maybe we can get paid off with some goodies by first picking that. Second pick. Nothing nice to follow up the era of innovation, really. So this is the remastered version, which means packs are going to have cards from both Kaladesh and either Revolt. It's not just one set or the other. Um, so you're going to have a lot of overlapping plans, of course. I don't think the Admiral is all that good. It can do some work, like there's a 6-6 six, six vehicle in the pack here, for example, but I think the best card is just going to be this Revolutionary. 3-mana, three 3-3 three, three Trampler. Good synergy with energy or 1-1 one, one counters. I think that seems like a good secondary choice. Into... I don't mind Shrewd Negotiation. I don't think it's amazing. There are a lot of servos that you can produce or other artifacts that don't really have that much of utility on the battlefield once they've resolved. So it's not a bad card to take. Um, other good cards in the pack. Sky Skiff's pretty solid. Nice 2-3 flying vehicle. Foundry Inspector is okay. I don't actually think this card is all that amazing in, in Remastered, uh, but it is okay. You want the, what, Chief of the Foundry? That's the good one, the one that gives plus one, plus one to all of your artifact creatures. Eddie Trail Hawk is fine. Another Serpent here. Kind of like taking the Skiff. Let's do that. <laughs> Into Paradoxical Outcome. Fun, but not actually good. Uh, best cards here are Enraged Giant. That one's actually really nice. 4-4 four, four, Trample Haste. For six, but it's got improvised, so pretty easy to cast this early on or just for a reduced cost. Thriving Rhino. All the thriving creatures are generally pretty nice, and the green one is no exception. Green is one of the better ones. Prism's always a fun card to take. Glint Sleeve Artisan is always just a solid three drop. What do we want to take here? I guess Rhino would make a lot of sense with what we already have, but I kind of want to take the Giant. Yeah, it's going to be an easy Rhino there for me, I think. Into a Renegade map. Another good one. Fixing. It's an artifact. It triggers a Revolt. So just a decent one-drop in the format. Lots of good synergies. A Brawl. Chief of Compliance. Brawl, not so good. Um, best card here, I think, is just the Revoke Privileges, right? Three mana pacifism, but it also turns off the ability to crew, which is very frequently relevant. And we've seen a ton of these Eddie Trail Hawks. Oh, another Sky Skiff, actually, and a Chandra's Revolution. This is a good pack for pick seven. I think I'm, I'm going to just take the Revolution for removal over Skiff number two. I think that's somewhat of a signal. Salivating gremlins can be very, very good. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under control, it gets plus two plus zero and gains trample. So it's not hard to attack for four or even six with this in consecutive turns. There's the night market lookout for all the vehicles. That would have been a fun one to do. Cobra's okay. Garrison's like fine. I guess after taking Revolution, we want to take the Gremlin. I don't know. You need to play a decent number of artifacts for this, which you're not always doing. I think Red-Blue is the deck you want the Gremlins in, which we're not really leaning in that direction right now. All 
Uh, Red White also makes a bunch of servos and other artifacts. So, yeah, Red Blue and I think Red White are the best homes for the Gremlin, but we'll see. Feeling the heroic intervention again, no surprise there. I think this is going to be an appetite for the unnatural. You've probably noticed, but there are a ton of artifacts in this format. There aren't too many enchantments, but there are a few. But yeah, usually you can kill a creature with this and gain two life to boot. Do we want to take the four mana 6-6 six, six vehicle? That's probably okay. If we end up in red-green, that is supposed to be the, like, energy aggro deck, usually. We're not really looking to be that right now. Um, don't play Frontline Rebel. That card is pretty trash. Fourth Bridge Prowler is actually a decent one-drop if you end up in black, just because there are so many one-toughness creatures. But we're not going to go out of our way to play that, of course. Okay, and the last few picks here should not make the deck unless something crazy happens. I would say that's a pretty weak pack one. We kind of have some kind of direction, uh, but not really. We could still be playing anything. Like if I open there's some improvised demon, for example, if I open that improvised demon, then we'll just immediately start playing black or whatever. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I actually like Built to Smash a lot. So it's only attacking creatures, but it does do a bunch of pump. Oath of a Johnny, is that the mass pump? Put a 1 1 counter on each creature you control. That's not bad. Other good cards in this pack Thopter Arrest is just fantastic removal. Rogue Refiner, obviously. One of the better uncommons. This is just a good card, constructed staple back in the day. We have a Hunt the Week here and a Prism. So, lots of choices. I don't think we're taking Oath of a Johnny. Thopter Arrest and Rogue Refiner are both pretty tempting, but so is the Prophetic Prism. And maybe just going for a little bit of a fun build. This is an interesting choice. This is a really interesting choice. I'm not actually sure what's correct. I'm just going to take the Prism. Was it the strongest card there? No, but it's pretty damn fun. There are some good options here. We have Hungry Flames, good removal, 3 damage to a creature and 2 damage to the player. I mean, Inventor's Apprentice is just a 1 mana 2-3 often enough and another revolution. There's Yeheni's Expertise. Wow. But fortunately for us, we have a Welding Sparks and a Brawler. That's a really good card. I haven't taken many black cards yet. We could certainly take that. Um, but I think I feel like the Sparks here is just going to be better. Okay, let's take the... Ooh, man, Inventor's Goggles. This is another artifact that you should not sleep on. It would be pretty bumpy if you slept on it. Ha ha ha. Anyway, it's... It's a surprisingly good all-star. Now, I don't have that many artificers right now. In fact, I have zero, but it's really, really nice in this format. Trust me. Uh, I'm going to take the goggles over the giant. Another Hungry Flames. Okay, we are getting a ton of good red removal now. I guess we are just going to end up in red-green. I have basically mono... Three drops though. Could really, really use a cheaper curve here. One, two, three, four. Oh, a second era of innovation. Oh, we just don't have any synergy with that though. We have like no energy. I mean, you can still just draw cards with it, but dude, two era of innovation is really sick. That's more fun than my green. Okay, let's do it. I uh, it because if I open well in pack three, these era of in innovation are going to be insane. I don't have any of that the relevant uh, energy creatures though right now. Don't have any either swoopers. Don't have any either chasers. Don't even have like a theorist. 
There are a lot of good cards we can pick up, though, with double era of innovation. And remember, this triggers off of artifacts in addition to the artificers, so. Could be building a really, really good, fun one here. Let's take the Fanatic over the Construct, even though the Construct's an artifact for era. Um, not huge on Malfunction. I have a lot of other removal already. We don't need the Bounce, though. I guess, I guess we could still be playing some white cards or something, too. Hey, there's a Theorist on the wheel. Okay, so there's one at least way to produce energy. Funny enough, it's not an Artificer, though. It's a Rogue. It's a very late hidden stockpile. That one's very fun. Rebuff is quite poor in this uh, format. Garrison's like whatever. This only does it to Players and Planeswalkers. Wow, 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 that Spire Patrol is a nice splash card, okay. Four mana, three, two flyer that locks down a creature for a turn. And uh, we open some more good white stuff, huh? Yeah, I guess I really should just be white, red, splashing maybe the Spire Patrol instead. Fairgrounds Warden, there's another Giant, another Apprentice, Artisan, Welding Sparks. I'm not going to take Welding Sparks. We have enough removal. I actually need ways to win the game now. I have so few creatures. I guess let's take the Giant over the one drop. There's another Goggles. There's an Either Thief. That's pretty good, too. Defensive card, though. I mean, maybe I should just be taking some self-assemblers now, too, because if I ended up with a couple of self-assemblers, that'd be really nice. I still have zero artificers, my lord. And he wonders why he did so poorly today on stream. <laughs> oh, God, why am I so tempted to just take the goggles? They don't do anything here, though. I'm going to take the shielded either thief. Sram! And another Fairgrounds Warden dude. I'm getting so punished. <sighs> F it. I mean, I guess I could take the puzzle knot. If we're already planning. No, no. It's better just to take the freaking Fairgrounds Warden. Other goggles, Windkin Raiders. Finally, our first artificer. We need more cheap artifacts, though, now. We just really didn't get there. Okay, we're going to take the puzzle knot. Even though with self assembler and then trying to wheel a second would be fantastic, we have some improvised now and we really need the artifacts. Another theorist over nothing. There's a chaser, finally. Pick seven, pack three. We get one of the cards we were really looking for. <laughs> uh, and I guess maybe trade wins can be okay in this deck. Feeling the Apprentice is very good. How many artifacts did I end up with? Five? Yuck. Well, hopefully I can cut, like, the ice over and get another artifact or two coming back on the wheel. Not that one, though. Not the ornithopter. God, I kind of want to just throw in this consulate turret. <sighs> I 
What a far cry away from yesterday's deck. Yesterday's deck was like a green-black constructed energy plus one plus one counter deck. This one's kind of like, hope I get there. <laughs> Jeskai stuff. Just needed like a Whirler Virtuoso. How hard could that have been to get? <sighs> you know what? I'm going to throw in the turret. I think it's probably fine with our double era of innovation. Is there any chance? I c there, it wasn't back-to-back self-assemblers, right? Because if I could get two self-assemblers, that would be incredible. <laughs> Even though I passed on that chance the first time. I don't think they were back-to-back, -back, though. Oh, okay. Well, this deck has good interaction, so... I think we'll probably be fine. 16 land shouldn't be too hard to do here, either. Let's go! I mean, at this point, if I can get to three or four wins, I'm going to be happy. Given, like I said, how today has already gone. That's a good hand. That's a good hand. Uh... Okay, I was debating if I wanted to save the artifacts and stuff for the Air of Invent uh, Innovation triggers, but I think this is probably fine. Eddie Hawk Trail. I'm just going to attack for one and pass here. How dare they block. We're going to flash out the thief and block the seed sculptor, get an extra energy. Okay, map and pass. I think we're going to try to draw land here. Nice. Just play out the theorists to block and get some more energies. Yeah, this shielded either thief with the era of innovation is going to be incredible. Pass. Huh. Uh, let's just start off by drawing an extra card. And let's maximize our era of innovation, I think. Not playing out the flyer is a little bit awkward there, but kind of dig it. Sure, it's fine. Double 
trigger here. Some more energy, move the equipment to our 5-5 five, five flyer now. Yeah, this is looking really good. A Johnny! So they're gonna exile my Windkin Raider, I guess. I, will teach you I gain five life, so be it. Leave no one behind. Does this deal it to Planeswalkers? It does. That's hilarious. Let's go grab a Planes. Then draw. Wow, another era. Okay, this is pretty cool. Now we're going to go Consulate Turret, get four energy, shoot the Ajani. <laughs> yeah. We're having a good old time here. Good game, they said. Well, I think they said good game because Ridge Scale Tusker is unbeatable. Uh, oh, I guess they are going to give flying. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and jump with the... No, actually, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can go ahead and take 10. We can afford the scry here. Mm. Well, we're just going to lose to a couple of chonkers, huh? Oh no! Dead. Oh, they just infinite removal too. Fair enough. Yeah, Tusker's insane. Oh, I could have been adding energy with this consulate turret. I completely forgot it taps to add an energy. Whoopsies. I don't think that would have ultimately mattered, but... Alright, well... We did a cool thing, but we got crushed. But you know what? That's okay. Opponent played a Mythic Uncommon, which was the Tusker, and then an actual Mythic, the Ajani. I was over here dirtling. Rude GG, huh? Opponent is clearly the worst person in the world. Not letting me have my fun. Let's go to the next. I can't do any worse than what I did previously. That hand looks good. So, I'm going to tell you right now, don't play Consulate Turret. The card is pretty bad. There are some cool decks that maybe have some energy synergies with it, but the vast majority of the time you do not want to be playing this card. Dynavolt Tower, however, if you can get that one, Dynavolt Tower is incredible. That's the rare three mana artifact that, uh, oh my god, turn two cub. That, uh, whenever you cast an or sorcery, you get two energy and then you can pay like four or five energy and deal three to any target. Good news is we have a two power first striker. Make them use their trick. <coughs> Excuse me. Rogue intervention is fine. We can just hungry flames that thing now. Cub is a lot of times a two mana bomb in essence. Hoping that they just make a 4 4 here. They did not. Mm. Yeah, it's probably still right to just do this. Let's take off their black source instead of their red. Well, got punished. Another Pima. It's another really good green common. Alright, let's 
cathartic away our map. And oh, it's two cards. That's right. I guess I want to do the land then. We can block a 1-1. One, one. Don't kill it. No pain, please. Weld fast engineer on the splash. Okay, to turn all their servos into big creatures. I like it. <sighs> the goggles, they do nothing. Should have cast Prism first, but no big deal. Well, if they kill the Theorist this turn, we just straight up lose. If they don't, I'm only going to take three, maybe six damage. Eh, actually, I think if I'm them, I pump up and swing with everything, don't I? That is a rather strange attack. Okay, well, I guess we're going to lose our Theorist here. Sure, that doesn't explain why they didn't block with their Engineer. <laughs> Not that it matters. Ay ay ay. All right, I go down to three, and then I don't think there's anything I can draw. All right, you win. <laughs> Look, to be fair, they went five lands and eleven spells. <laughs> We're zero <and> two. <laughs> ah, this will be such a good contrast from yesterday's video. Just another quick zero and three. <laughs> That's fine. Blame dad sleep. Dad brain, no sleep, rather. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. 0 oh 2. Let's get one win. That's all I'm asking. One win. Can't be hard. And looks moderately playable. Turn one turtle. Okay, that's decent. I can start getting the energies. Nice one for so we can pitch prism in an island here. X extra energy. One energy and trade for two damage seems good for them. Oh, that card is so busted. Enters the battlefield, you get an energy. Whenever it or another creature enters, you also get another energy, and then whenever it attacks, you can pay two energy if you do put a 1-1 counter on it and tap up to one. Yeah, that card's nuts. Fortunately, we have the immediate way to kill it here. Uh, yeah, we want to go for the Hungry Flame. While it's still small enough. Yeah, Rock is fantastic. Swooper also very good. They have their own Windkin Riders, very nice. Right, theorist. Revolution. Say go, we can draw a card with Thief, end of turn. Take one. If they want to make a 1-1, one, one, that would be surprising. That's very interesting that they opted to make a 1-1 one, one on this scenario. Board state. Okay, so we are definitely winning this game. Or at least ahead. For the moment. Good. 
Man, where are my era of innovations now? We would have had so many triggers. Let's go crew. We can start applying the air pressure. Six in the air. So I think it's probably better to uh, scry three times instead of being able to draw one card once, I feel like. I'm going to be a little bit concerned if they draw a Dawn Chaser Eagle, given how many creatures they have. Wow. Scry's here looking good. Let's just draw naturally for this one. Six mana, four, four, trample, haste. Second main phase. <laughs> Go. Leave in the dust. Okay. So I'm going to go to 14. They can make two servos if they want to. Again, it's kind of terrifying that they are opting to do that. a lot of lands we just put on the bottom. So we're going to improvise off of our servo so I can hold up welding sparks. Minister of Inquiries, that's fine. I could try to get them by attacking with the giant, since it has trample. And then try to like welding spark sparks their blocker, but I don't think that's correct. Okay, they are dead. Yes, we did not go 0-3. Ah. <laughs> you know I'm having a good time if that's the bar for success. Did I go 0-3? No? All right, 1-2. and two. The comeback. Time is now. Strike. Yes. God, this hand would slap if we have a, had a mountain here instead, but this is still a good hand. Gosh, I really want to cast the Era of Innovation on turn two. But turn one map, turn two chaser. It's pretty good. This is actually a good Consulate Turret hand, even though Consulate Turret is not a good card. <laughs> funny, funny. Nice. Now we get to go Era here. Attack, make an artifact, get two energy back. Yeah, baby. It's happening. I 
No, that thing shoots for one damage. Oh my gosh. Let's keep it going. Now we're going to get four energy. Holy smokes. The era is now. Alright, chase her down. Express is so good. Four mana, four, four trampling vehicle. The crew one that whenever it attacks, you uh, put a one, one counter on it. Ugh. I kind of feel dead. What did they have a free jam regent too? Insane improvised flyer. Oh my god. Uh, I do have a couple of ways to kill that, fortunately, so... Let's just hope we can draw one of them ASAP. Dude, they've played nothing but high quality cards. Let's just get an energy here instead of shooting for two. Don't need a sack yet. Perfect, there's one of them. I guess I should probably sack and draw three with one of the arrows right now, huh? Given our hand. Oh, God. <sighs> wow. Miserable draws. All right, I'm going to take five. Man, hitting a red source at least there would have been really nice. Pass? What was in their hand? Is their hand actually that bad? Maybe they have a revolution that they didn't want to cast last turn. That would make sense. Malfunction. Okay, that's fine. Implement of Malice. Oh, maybe they're missing a color. All right, time to cash this in for three cards. There we go. Found some business. Let's see, attack for three. Draw three. My god, our draws are not good here, are they? Holy smokies. Uh-oh, they're looking at their graveyard. What does that mean? What can they do with red-blue for graveyards? <laughs> Let's start shooting. It's a great draw. 
Let's lead off on Cathartic. Okay. Hungry Flames, that's going to put them to five. They're going to crew in response. We go to combat and then try to revolution their express after they block. They have a gear hulk? Oh my god. Oh, they forgot to flash that in before blockers were declared. Wait, why did they concede? They weren't dead. Okay. They messed up and I guess they shame scooped? Jeez Louise, their deck was incredible looking. <laughs> Air of Innovations there did a lot of work. Gave us a bunch of energy. Gave us six cards. We're two and two. We're doing it. He's coming back, baby. No 20 minute three or 03 loss. If we can get one more win or a thousand gems back, I would be very happy. Turn two, I, uh, either chaser is great. This hand has the potential to do some really good stuff if we just rip a couple of lands. Nice. No! The puzzle knots! Oh, gross. And now I'm gonna play a shame consulate turret. <laughs> Uh, hey, everybody gets a scry. They topped. Yeah, we probably have to top that. Isn't it's a white source after all? So they probably put a fourth land on top or a third land on top. Oh, maybe they put prism and hope to hit a land. gonna hold on oh I don't have a yes I do we're gonna hold on to the mountain in hand for like cathartic purposes all right if they don't have any more removal we can beat them down with flyers game plan active that's not a flyer We're actually really happy they made that a 4-4. God, dude. Not like this. Hopefully they go for Hunt the Week here. I'm going to take a hit and see what they do second main phase first. Damn it. All right, we're going to need to draw something good. It's not bad. And I think I am supposed to try to keep pressuring. Trading two damage for one damage seems fine. Okay, 3-3 three, three for 4. Nice. We can just immediately pop that for 3 cards. Fantastic draw. Not the worst. I can't cast that Windkin Rider currently, but... 
can at least make a two and five. And then next turn we can make a 5-5 five, five flyer. It's going to ping me? Or are they going to ping the... Yeah, okay, so they're going to ping me for two. They can actually attack here, yeah. Alright. The puzzle knots are three to sacrifice, so they have to have a different trick. They do. Oh, gross, dude. Wow! Oh, they missed lethal. What? Double invigorated rampage. I mean, I guess they still have lethal with the puzzle knots next turn. <laughs> but they just missed lethal, though. No, I'm oopsing you. You missed lethal, bro! Alright, well... <sighs> o2 start into a 2 and 3. At least we didn't go 0 and 3. Yeah, that, uh, I think the deck was okay. I mean, the, the draft itself went pretty poorly. Um, and we ended up with enough playables, but not anything exciting and kind of, uh, showed itself in the results there. So as always, friends, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time. Bye-bye.